we can talk about the, I think the, the number one thing to in, in increasing cash flow, you know, and it, it all starts with having the correct numbers. Uh, so many times you hear people like, um, um, my cash flow's low, or my cash flow's low, or it's not where it needs to be. I'm like, where, where does it need to be? And yeah. right. So I think, you know, and I've said this before, you really got to make sure you understand the two golden rules of income and expenses two golden rules. And again, those golden rules are your business, just face it, it's going to try to spend everything that it makes and then some, all right, it, it don't, don't fight that it, it will. Um, but it'll also make what it needs to make to be able to function and survive. So uh, as long as you're operating, so there's, there's a natural demand for money, like, if you want money, Nathan, or if your practice needed money, or if you needed to pay a bill, like if you're, if your kid needed a surgery that, that was going to cost X amount of dollars, you would do whatever you needed to, to, to get that money together mm -hmm. and pay it. Right. You mm -hmm. would. Why? Cause there's a demand for that money. Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing in a business. You have to have like this almost obsession with, I need this much money for us to be able to be solvent to be expanding, to be profitable, so I can have business reserves, so I can pay off my debt, so I can pay myself as an owner. And it really comes down to making sure you know exactly what that number is. And by and large, when I've, whenever I've talked with private practice owners, the first question I've asked, what is your make break number? And are you including all of your profits in that number? Mm. And most, nine out of 10 of them said, no, I wasn't. So you're yeah. operating on the wrong number. Yeah. So once you get that number, at least you know what your target is. Yeah. And, I mean, and that's, that's where you start. That's the first thing was like, have the right target. 